Hi everyone, I'm Tanvi and I've been working with Dr. Jim on finding biological carbon fixation cycles in the glucose reaction network. This project is in continuation to what last year's YSPs did. They started with very simple molecules and generated a complex network of glucose. Then they tried to find various patterns within it, and the one they were interested in was autocatalytic cycles. Here's a depiction of what one looks like. The source of the catalytic node of the cycle, that is A, can get synthesized again in its own reaction by using a feeder molecule X. This pattern can be found in cycles for carbon fixation like the RTCA cycle or the C3 cycle in plants, wherein they use CO2 as the feeder to regenerate the source. Our goal was to find all energetically possible carbon fixing autocatalytic cycles. The underlying assumption was that early biological systems somehow figured out how to make carboxylation spontaneous by running non-spontaneous CO2 liberating reactions in the reverse direction. Our approach was to use an imperative algorithmic script implemented by Romulo, a YSP from last year, to find this particular motif, where we have the catalytic node or the source of the cycle embedded in the main cycle with two possible return routes to reproduce it. We ultimately had to find if there is a spontaneous motif like such with CO2 in one of the return routes. And we were able to find CO2 as part of both the return routes in both a spontaneous as well as a non-spontaneous global cycle. Here are the snapshots of CO2 as part of branch one in a cycle that is thermodynamically feasible and in one that is not. Here are the snapshots of CO2 as part of branch two in both the scenarios again. The inference is that because of the chemistry of the reactions, the carboxylic core is a constant, but the connecting reactions decide whether or not the cycle can run on its own. Hence, the future consideration would be to check whether the edges that make the cycle spontaneous are connected to CO2 as well. The next thing would be to validate these findings using a declarative approach, one that uses a graph query language. Thank you for listening in. I thank these wonderful people who've helped me every step of the way.